people often ask me what models are like and if I have any stories that have to do with models. The majority of my experiences have been positive. I need to preface, preface with this. Um, the people I know who are models are kind and brilliant and intellectual and just, you know, great people. And that's first and foremost. But I have run into my fair share of Dumases, okay? There are two in particular. One, in the Ford offices, I was riding the elevator up. This girl strikes up a conversation with my sister who was with me and myself. And we're like, oh, we're from Alaska. And she goes, oh, like, so what was it like growing up in an igloo? And Jordan's like, we don't know. Like, straight up, my sister's just like, we don't know. Why the fuck would we know that? And I'm like, Jordan, why do you have to be this way? But it's true. You know, if I can thank Sarah Palin for anything, it's for letting people know we live in houses. Granted, she did say we can see Russia from our front yards. That's not true. Um, I mean, she did, you know, make it so that, like, we looked a little bit, like, more, like, human, I guess. The second one. This one's the big kicker that I'm just like, yo, you are the stereotype. You are making models look bad. So I'm working this swimsuit show in California. I flew down from Alaska for this specific show. I'm one of the models and there's another girl with me. And this girl, she's like, oh, so where are you from? And I say Alaska. And she goes, wow, so is it your first time in the United States? Now, I'm not a mean person. So I was just like, oh, I've been to California before. You know, trying to make her, like, not feel stupid, but to, like, obviously, like, know that, like, Alaska is a state. And then she goes, but, but you don't have an accent. Your English is so good. And I was like, ah, well, Alaska is a state in the United States, and we speak American English in Alaska. And, and she just, like, continues to go on and, and it, it just is like I, I don't know who taught her and then I was like did you go to public school because let me know so I can stop paying taxes or let me know so I can like call up your school and be like yo you failed this girl so bad she's like what's it like to live on an island and I was like Alaska's not I'm like I'm not from Kodiak Alaska's not an island and she was like oh well it's like floating in the ocean on the map and I was like what? No, girl, that's just a map. Like, that's just like, it puts it down at the bottom for, I don't know why. I don't know why it does that because it's like so far up there and Canada's in between. If it's just a map of the United States, I don't know why they do that, but they do. And I just couldn't, like, I couldn't deal with her. The more she talked, the more I was like, yo. And then this girl tells me that she was on an airplane one time and the doors flew off the airplane. And I was like, were you close to the ground? Like, what size airplane? She's like, it was like a 737. And like, yeah, the doors like flew off and everyone was screaming. I was like, did they get sucked out? Like, how are you not dead? That sounds like an impossible thing. First of all, it's like physically impossible just because of like tension from the outside and air pressure. And she was like, no, girl, this like seriously happened. I'm like, I've never even heard of this happening. Like, this would be all over the news. And I don't want to be like an asshole, but I'm just like, I'm knuckling my wrinkles out of my forehead and I'm just like, calm down, Jasmine. Getting all hot, like, oh my God, I pay taxes and this girl doesn't know that Alaska is not an island and she doesn't know it's not a state. She doesn't know it's a part of the United States. Like, what is wrong with people? And that's why we have stereotypes, you guys. Stereotypes are false, but you have one person just ruining it for the rest of the batch. That's my story for today. This is what I deal with sometimes. Bye.